so now we're going to get into the fun part of learning about vectors. And R is a vector-based language, so this would be a uh, somewhat somewhat important data type within R to learn. Um, other data types would be a matrix or a list or a data frame, that sort of thing. Uh, but a vector is essentially kind of at its core um, one of the one of the more important uh, data types within R. So uh, a good way to think about a vector is just a collection of values, and the values have to be the same uh, data type, whether it's character or numeric. And so I'm going to go ahead and just start creating creating one here. So we can use the lowercase letter C, which stands for collection, where we just kind of start to list out a collection of elements. So if they're going to be character, I surround them by double quotes. And I could just list out a few uh, different character names here. And I don't know how to spell cantaloupe, so we'll go with melon. So this loads in uh, essentially a vector called A, <clears throat> is what I've named it. And it is a just set of, of, of character um, values. And um, let's say I was interested in figuring out how many uh, elements were in this vector of A. Using the length command can be kind of handy. Length uh, just, just is able to count up how many elements uh, li uh, live within, within my vector. So, so this is a character vector. Um, if we want to get into a numeric vector, very similar approach. You can use lowercase c as a collection. Uh, but in this case, we can just uh, put in a bunch of numbers. And again, the data type has to be consistent, so I can't mix character and numbers together. But uh, in this case, uh, lowercase b is essentially just a bunch of, bunch of different numbers here. And again, uh, the length of this one is now 5. So I, I went with uh, 5 elements in that one. Um, so in its very, very basic form, that is the uh, essence of what a vector is, but there's some interesting math that c you can do within vectors. And to, to demonstrate this, um, as I just showed, uh, B is a numeric vector with these values here, kind of these random kind of uh, one and two digit numbers I typed in. So say we were interested in multiplying each of these by three. If you were in Excel or something like that, you would have to, you'd have to build a formula to kind of do that. Uh, but being a vector-based language, um, R allows you to just take the name of the variable, which is B, uh, B in this case, and you can multiply by three, and that's it. It will understand that you are interested in taking this mathematical uh, portion here and applying it to every single element within that vector. So we've essentially uh, done that. Um, so that's kind of vector-based math here. Uh, one thing that, that I find uh, that I wanted to point out is if um, if you're trying to do, let's, that's a good way to explain this here. So, so we already have lowercase letter b that represents five data points, but let's just say I have another one called lowercase c um, that only has three data points in it here. So this one only has three. If I were to try to add these two vectors together, um, r is going to kind of wrap around. So I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and show you what this, what happens, and then I'll kind of explain it. Um, it's gonna it's gonna add the first element of this one, 45, to the first element of the next one, which is three. It'll do that, but when it when it gets to the third one, it's gonna realize that uh, upon the fourth one, there's no fourth one down here. So should it stop? Should it give an error? What should it do? Uh, in this case, R will start back over at at the first one again, and 23 will get added to three, and 15 will get added to five, and then nothing happens to eight the second time. It just it just didn't uh, line up. And uh, that's kind of how R handles it. It allows you to go forward with it, but it will give you a nice warning message to, to kind of share something looks funny, something looks odd. So if I were to, let's see what happens if we add B and C together. So there's a warning message. Let's see if it gave us a result. So it did. 45 plus 3 is a 48. 21 plus 5 is a 26. 9 plus 8 is a 17. So what happened here? So then the fourth one, it took the 23 and just added the 3 to make 26, and then 15 plus the 5 to make 20. And then again, nothing happened with the eight the second time through. So it gave me five values. Um, and then it has a big warning message that the, the longer object is not a multiple of the shorter object. So it's kind of letting me know, hey, you know, we did some wrapping around and this one is longer than the other one. Just keep an eye out for that. And uh, within our warning messages are kind of handy uh, messages to kind of say, you know, you may not have noticed this, but pay attention. 
Um, uh, an error or critical error would be something that will stop and not let you proceed. But a warning lets you proceed. It just gives you a message. These are things that you can suppress. Um, if you kind of know what you're doing and you don't really care for a lot of warnings, you can definitely turn them off if they get annoying.